We are back with more Random Battles World Cup, and today we're playing for India against Team Benelux, I believe, versus El Gino. This is not updated, we are 4-7, and seven. we did win the last game, so you can check that out on my channel too. And here we go. Mimikyu into Thwompert, not ideal. Stealth Rock will go up here, and I can't deny it. We do have Kiram though, which is fun. We have our own Thwompert too, Halucha is interesting, Sudowoodo. Maybe if I- it's, it's kind of prediction reliant, because I would have to get a Woodhammer predict on Swampert in that situation. I think we always go straight to Kiram, or do we go to Swampert first for our own Stealth Rock? I feel like Stealth Rock is always going to be valuable, more valuable than the momentum of Kiram into Swampert. We go Swampert first and then get our momentum. Mimikyu can't beat Swampert 1v1, maybe late in the game it can, but not now. Good, we can Stealth Rock here. We do get our rocks up, which is good. They go to Amoongus though, they might not have had Stealth Rock. Which is good for me. What's not great is I don't have a Spore Immunity. Sudowoodo feels the least valuable, so I can use that as a Spore Immunity. I mean, okay, we get Toxic instead. Uh, Head Smash, we do outspeed. Should we Woodhammer predicting? That didn't work, they Giga Drained here. They know we're banded too. Probably a Spore coming in now. We might have to sacrifice Udo here. A little bit of an over prediction. Yeah, we're gonna get... Okay, maybe not, we'll get that Wood Hammer off. Uh, Duraludon 191. We can go straight to Halucha. Is it too early to go straight to Halucha? 191. We can go to Pangoro 2 for close combat. Which is an idea. Swampert is also an idea, but it just gets walled by Amoongus and I'm back to square one. Pangoro... I could try the Pangoro idea. Close combat, knockoff. I don't hate knockoff here. Because they could stay in, which is realistic to happen. But they could also go to Amoongus, right? I think I'm happy with damage. Because that'll put it in range of Pokemon like Kyurem later. Because Kyurem looks like it has a good matchup here. So I'm okay with knocking off here for damage. Even if they body press predicting me to knock off, I'm okay with that because I want the damage on Duraludon here. Ideally, we, we hit Amoongus though. That's the ideal situation. But we're okay with trading for damage on Duraludon here. Halucha could be good late game too. Uh, Halucha is Throat Chop, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock off here. They do Draco. It is Life Orb. Uh, we can go straight to Swampert, probably. They get the Stealth Rock up. We'll Ice Beam to hit Amoongus 2. And we knock out Duraludon. That's fine. Should I lose Swampert to Amoongus here? I'm gonna risk it. Now we go to Kiram. I could have sacrificed Pangoro too, but I wanted that banded knockoff for late in the game. I believe we substitute and we can find out what they're doing after that. Or should I freeze dry because substitute's kind of obvious, right? Like, no one's ever going to Toxic into a Substitute, right? Could I Freeze Dry straight up? Nah, I think Substitute's always the best play. Fifty-nine. No Poison, okay. I'm going to Freeze Dry again. They go to Alakazam. Thirty-nine. So Alak we do outspeed Alakazam with Halucha. Halucha does look good here. 
I'm gonna sacrifice Pangoro. Yeah, sacrificing Pangoro here. We go to Halucha. We throw Chop just to not take recoil. No need to take Brave Bird recoil. There we go. The bad thing is they know my team. They know I have three Pokemon. They know what they are, and I don't know what their last two Pokemon are. Don't I just straight up Swords Dance here? I get hit by Toxic, but I'm fine. Or I don't get hit by Toxic. I was prepared to take that damage. I'm, I was okay with it. They might have to Dynamax now. I was okay to take that Toxic damage. If we get chip damage here, that's good for Mimikyu later as well. Should I Dynamax myself? I could Swords Dance and then Dynamax too, which is an idea. Yeah, that's an idea. Critical hit. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. They might defensive Dynamax to stop me here. Yeah, definitely they could de defensive Dynamax, and then I, ha I would have to back Kyurem and Mimikyu to take on the remaining Pokemon. It's not Stealth Rock too, so Scald, Toxic, Earthquake, and Ice Beam, or Flip Turn. They didn't use Flip Turn, so probably Ice Beam here. The Swampert might defensive Dynamax right now, though. Because I think th the reason they would defensive Dynamax is because it's too risky to not Dynamax, right? Because what if I, I go for the Dynamax and they straight up win? My, my plan, if I got hit by Toxic, was just close combat, get damage from Mimikyu. Yeah, they do defensive Dynamax, okay? 72. Yeah, Geyser. Oh, I put it in Torrent range. Ah, Torrent range. I put it in Torrent range. I probably should have max fighting first. I should have, If I max fighting first, I would have avoided Torrent range. They go to Sharpedo, which does outspeed, unfortunately. I'm going to make an aggressive play. I'm going to go to Mimikyu on close combat here. There we go. Okay. Now I have, we do have Drain Punch as an option. I feel like they're going to go to Amoongus, right? Should I make the aggressive play and Swords Dance on a switch out? I'm going to do it. Didn't work. I thought I could Swords Dance on the switch out. I'm playing too aggressively. Even in my last game, I was playing too aggressively here. Making over predictions like the Sudowoodo thing. Hydro Pump. Yeah, we lose the game from here. GG, we're moving on to game two. I over-predicted there. I'll try and... I think I should play more... Uh, safe and solid now. Game two. Machamp into Swoobat, not ideal. Definitely. 245, we do have Banded Persian. Uh, Hatterene, kind of. Do I straight up knock off here? And Air Slash would do not enough to me. So I, I can I have a free knockoff here because Air Slash does not do enough to me. Machamp has enough bulk to take on Subat here. Knock off into Bullet Punch. So not a terrible lead matchup, even though it looks like it should be a bad lead matchup. Not terrible. Um, like knocking off anything is always going to be good. Yeah. So Tyrantrum, that's good. Um, we're gonna get hit by an Outrage. I mean, we don't have an amazing switch, and even if we go to Hatterene, next turn is a Head Smash anyway. So I'll take the trade here. I'll take the trade. Yeah, I'll take the trade. As Elf, we do have... This could be Stealth Rock too. I think no matter what, Hatterene's a good switch in. Yeah, we switch into that. 
Psychic should have done 27 if it was choice spec, so it's not choice spec, so mystical fire. This could be like... Like leftovers, maybe? Usually you don't see Focus Ash in the non-lead, so it could be Leftovers Nasty Plot. They go to Cinderace, okay. We don't switch in... Uh, we do switch in well. Chandelure is an okay switch in. The only problem is Sucker Punch, right? Chandelure is an okay switch in, though. There we go. I'm going to substitute on the switch out or the Sucker Punch. They could Gunk Shot, too. But... I do like the Chandelure idea. I can... Chandelure is even a Dynamax candidate, too. We don't know if it's Banded or not. This could be Banded, but... Oh, what if they Dynamax Sucker Punch me, right? So right now, they're never going to Fire Move a Chandelure. They're either going to Dynamax or they're going to Gunk Shot. Either way is Durant my idea. Because I'm scared of the Dynamax, Dynamax Dark move, right? Dynamax Soccer Punch is what I'm scared of here. Do you think they do it, Dynamax Dark move? If they do Dynamax Dark move, what do I do? Waylord? I suppose I'm not too weak to Azelf and Tyrantrum if I have a Persian. Um, I'll just... I'll just Fire Blast here. Okay, they go to Milotic. Didn't work. They do outspeed, which is funny. Uh, we kind of struggle versus Milotic, right? We literally lose to Milotic? Is that is that what's happening right now? How do we beat Milotic? We might have to sacrifice maybe Machamp? Or even Waylord. Okay, we have to try and bait a Toxic and then go to Hatterene. Which is not the most hidden tactic, it's kind of obvious too. Right, so they're, they're not going to... Yeah, that's like... <laughs> that was choice specs damage too. But... We get burned unfortunately. Trick Room, there we go, that worked. Now we have Trick Room Machamp to work with. 83? Decent enough damage. Now we have Trick Room Chandelure to work with. Okay. We're back in the game now. That uh, Trick Room as Hatterene fainted with Clutch. Now we can try and break through here. Oops, they have... Avalug, which cannot touch me if I'm not wrong. Right? This cannot touch me, but it can be annoying. It can be annoying because of Sturdy. Yeah, Sturdy is going to be the challenge here. Okay. Now we substitute. Now... Do we Calm Mind again? That Cinderace is going to have a Dynamax Dark move to handle, right? So we can remove the Milotic here. And Cinderace will revenge with Dynamax Dark move, probably. Then what? But if we remove Milotic, then Waylord looks good. So I'm, I'll take the trade. Yeah, I'll take the trade. Waylord looks good now. Even Persian is good with that knockoff, strong knockoff. I am expecting Cinderace to come into Dynamax Dark move. Should I switch out if I'm predicting that? No, right? The funny thing is, Durant is outsped by three Pokemon. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Durand of all things being outsped by half a team. What if the Cinderace is not? It has to be Sucker Punch here. 
Uh, 219, Durant is outsped by everything, loses to everything too, with the sacrifice in every sense of the word, but... Do I go to Durant? Um, I mean, what other thing is Durant going to do? At the same time, what else is Chandelure going to do? I can Fire Blast and then go to Waylord, maybe. In case the uh, Azul doesn't have a fire move itself. Yeah, they're going to Dynamax Dark. Okay. Now, I can Waylord here, I believe, right? Waylord and then back Persian to win the game. Persian and Durant. Uh, we max strike once to lower the speed. Let me check that calc. It's outsped by Waylord. So we do the strike here. They do knuckle, that's expected. 15. We strike to lower speed. Now we strike to Geyser. What I'm worried about is. They don't know my. I have a, a Persian that can outspeed Thubat, but I'm a little worried about. I'm a little worried about Thubat setting up on Waylord. Okay. It is leftover as elf. We do have rain protection for Durant, but I think Persian kind of wins now. I don't want. I'm gonna go Durant here. Okay. Now we Iron Head. If they have Fire Blast, they go for it here. If not, I just Iron Head and then. Or should I Rock Slide predicting Cinderace? But Rock Slide has lower accuracy. I mean, it's only an 8% difference. I'm gonna Rock Slide. There we go. Hit that. Let's go, okay. Now it's Fubat's turn, but we win. We win now with... Uh, we win with Persian now. We win We win with Persian now. Unless they go, they go back to Azov, we do Iron Head. Yeah, we, we win with Persian. Yeah, we scared him out with, with First Impression, but we win with Persian now. Knock off Ken, remove Azov, and then remove Fubat. With choice abandoned knockoff. There we go, 94, and nothing it can do can one hit Gale. There we go. And GG, we win game two and we move on to game three now. Let's go. Wobbuffet into Diggersby. That's a straight up counter, right? Uh, what if they swords dance? I'm gonna counter though. Okay, hopefully they don't have a ghost type. They do. Unfortunate. And this ghost type is we can we have T spike which is very interesting. No nope, uh Frostless can't have taunt, so now is not the right time. Um we'll go always giggle it. Hopefully it's not the spikes variant. It is. Okay. Should I stealth rock? They don't know if I'm banded or not. Ooh, lucky dodge. They don't know if I'm banded or not. Now they do, but I was gonna say they're never gonna taunt a gigalith that early. Um, I, I Stone Edge always. I don't have a switch into Willow. They have Claydol. Which can rapid spin. We're pretty weak to Claydol too. Do I just boom to remove Claydol because I'm weak to it? That's an idea for sure. Yeah. I'm booming on Claydol. I'm sacrificing my access to Stealth Rock because I think removing Claydol is much more important to me. We're weak to ground types overall. That's Choice Scarf U-Turn. Ah, uh, we don't we don't switch well into U-Turn at all. I'm gonna lead with Dadini because it has Protect. That's about it though. We're going to have to T-Spike. They get Stealth Rock up, we're going to T-Spike and hopefully that should be enough. They go to Diggers B straight up. We haven't revealed a Flying type yet, I'm gonna go to Zapdos here. There we go. Now, Dynamax Diggersby is an idea. Should I Dynamax Zapdos here? I could go right back to Garboder. 
I could go to Wobbuffet too. I don't- Zapdos looks like it could be my best Pokemon with Heavy Duty Boots versus all these hazards, right? But I'm not sure if I want to bet on the Dynamax coming in right now because I don't know if it will. An alternate idea is just Dynamaxing myself because flying Dynamax is always going to be valuable on Zapdos. We know enough of the team to be able to say that, maybe. Hmm. I think I Hurricane. Yeah, I do Hurricane straight up. There we go. Nope. Nice try. Uh, we do have Garboder. Okay, Triple Axel's gonna do a lot though. Critical hit, unfortunate. I kinda wanna keep Aftermath around. Oh, the main problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get another Teeth Spike up. Yeah, we don't switch in well into Frostlass here. Thunderbolt, they get us another spike up. Okay. Pharaoh probably comes in now. I'm I'm definitely okay, type null. Does Wobbuffet take it on? If we charm our Encore, maybe? Uh, what if we Encore it? Like, they're going to Dynamax too, but the idea is Poison and Substitute Gardevoir. We'll lose... We'll lose Type Null. I mean, we'll lose... Type Null here, but we have Substitute Gardevoir, which is the plan. Uh, yeah, all we do is keep Charming. Then we Encore into Rest. And then once it's rested, we can keep Charming. And it's locked in. Don't we go for the win? I mean, we go for the Dynamax Electric here. Or Dynamax Flying, rather. Fifty-nine, there we go. Big damage on Pharaoh that puts uh There we go, good. I don't hate our positioning. Zapdos can live one hit from Diggersby. Right? They're going to probably max normal. They're gonna max normal. That type null is dealt dealt with to an extent. I can guard. I think I value the damage of Airstream though. I value the damage of Airstream. 36, that's good. The all important roll 25. Did, did they pick the weaker max strike? Intentionally? No way, right? Not intentionally. So I hurricane for damage here, don't I? I believe that's an idea. I hurricane for damage. Yeah, okay. Confusion. Oh, that's lucky. So I would have lived the hit and I would have been able to outspeed anyway. But now Confusion helped me out here. I think I go for it again. Or do I roost off damage? I think I go for it again. We hit it. That's lucky. Now type Null. I get it. That's lucky. Like hitting all those hurricanes, that's lucky. Definitely. Gardevoir could take it on with Calm Mind, but... This doesn't activate... I believe it doesn't trigger ice mode with a f if I use a physical, I mean if I use a special attack. 
Now, I do have to be careful about what I'm doing here. 39. Talic Berry Trigger, we're fine. Dadini has Protect. This doesn't have Rest or anything, and we should win. GG, we do win Game 3, so we move up to... Now we're 5-7 and seven after the two games we've played. And yeah, looking forward to the future games. Don't know when they'll be. There's like a three-week period to play all of them. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode.